Hey guys, welcome back to the Wood Metal Workshop. I'm Ken. If this is your first time here, welcome. Kind of appreciate you joining us. So everybody should have a winch on their trailer. Me personally, I like my hand crank winch. It doesn't need electricity. It works everywhere. So don't need to keep a battery charged. Don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And so we're going to make a mount to put the hand crank winch on the front of the trailer. And we're going to use the stake pocket we installed in the last video. So we've got some materials here. Nothing special. 3 8 by 6 inch plate. Mount the winch on. A chunk of 2 inch by 3 inch quarter inch wall rectangular tubing. And uh, we'll make up some gussets when we need them. So let's go ahead and get this laid out. Drill the holes. This needs to be modified so it fits, and we'll get it done. So to mark this out, I got my previous mount for this winch. I'm just going to lay it on here, take my transfer punch, get this kind of squared up on here. Should have grabbed the hammer before I got this in place. So transfer punch, tap. That can get set to the side. Personally, I don't like to hit my transfer punches hard. I think it uh, damages them. So I like to just give them a little tap, then come back with a regular center punch. And give that a good wallop. Okay, going to use half inch hardware. I'm just going to go ahead and drill this off camera. So we're going to go ahead and drill some half inch holes and we'll be back. Let's deburr these. And we want this to fit snugly in one of these. However, they're both two inches. So what we have to do, if you go back to my flatbed build, I've done one of these already. So that's four and three quarters inches deep, so we've got that. I'm going to add half an inch. Okay. Go ahead and mark that there. And so we need to take half an inch out of this somewhere. Well, where we're going to take it is out of each side. And then we're going to squeeze it, weld it back together, and then we'll have our tube that'll slip in here. So to do that, we know that this is a quarter inch wall, so I'm going to come over a quarter of an inch, and then three quarters of an inch. And same thing here. Connect our dots. And we don't want a stiff angle here. We want kind of a slope, something like that. So, let's move over to the bandsaw and we'll get this cut. All we have to do is bend this back in and weld her up. That's a little loose. We're just going to let a little bit off here. Until we get it exactly where we want it.
Okay. Go ahead and tack this bottom end. I have to make a mid gun a little bit, I keep forgetting. There we go, that's what we want right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up, and then we'll deal about the we'll deal with the width. Right at an inch and a half. So here's some quarter inch by inch and a half. Two pieces of this, we'll put us right on where we want to be. Might have to grind it just a little bit to give us a little bit of free play, but go. Let's just uh, weld these up just for the heck of it. Just to make it look pretty. This is the handle side, this is the other side, and this is the front. I was going to put it right in the center, but after thinking about it for a couple of minutes here, I think I'm going to move this this way a little bit. Gives me more room for gusset. And it offsets it from the from overhanging the trailer. Moves it back some. Now, which way do I want this? That's the question. If you're wondering how I decided how long to make this, I measured how long the crank hangs below the base, and gave myself three inches of clearance between the deck height of the trailer and uh, the plate. So that gives me about three, three and a half inches below your hand as you're cranking it. Just to give you that a little bit extra. You don't want to be smacking your knuckles. So, all right, let's get this welded in place. Hey guys, sorry about that. I don't know when the camera cut out on us, but I got this all welded around here. Uh, one pass, that's plenty for this. Uh, one thing that I want to point out, and uh, if you're new to welding, this might help you. You don't want to start or end your weld right on a corner. You can get cracking that way. So when I welded, I started over here and came around and came past this corner. Then I did the same thing here. I started here, came around, and ended here, came around the corner, and then I filled the two short sides. So, went and made up a gusset. The seam on this is pretty close to center, so I'm just going to use the seam there. And we'll go ahead and get this welded in place. Okay, gonna let it cool. We'll get it painted. Get it bolted together, and we'll bring it back. All right, guys, got it all painted up. Didn't paint the top, it's getting covered anyways. Anyhow, all we gotta do is bolt it up.
There we go. All ready to go on the trailer. There we go. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Got another little project done. If you like what you saw today, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you in the next one.